Hey, what's up, folks? I'm David Spates. If you don't know who I am now, you know. Oh, another day, another motherfucking dollar. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. It is a beautiful, lovely day in Southern California. Oh, we're going to start this joke off right. Oh, uh oh, solar flares. Solar flares. Okay, all right. You know, you think, oh, shit, that's. That's real crazy this morning. Ah, wow, shit, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Okay, so today, folks, on my way to work as usual. Um, I'm a little late, but I'm not gonna sing the song because I think I think I can make up for time. Oh, shit, I forgot. I gotta go by Mickey D's again because the brother gotta have some grub, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, all right. I'm feeling good this morning. I got some sleep. Some motherfucking sleep. Shot a couple of videos this weekend. Okay, all right. We're going to... Here we go. This is this is that intersection, folks. The intersection where... I got a feeling one day y'all going to see your brother get hit. God forbid. Hey, before we get started, a quick shout out, you know, to my man, Holy Decay, who... uh. Uh, Holy Decay got fudged up in a car accident and uh, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, Holy Decay is one of my killers on my blog TV show, which is kind of ironic because that motherfucker almost got killed. I mean, Holy Decay, you got fudged up. I mean, this motherfucker's spleen got messed up, all kinds of shit, internal bleeding. Woo! But Holy Decay messaged me. They said they're going to be all right. So, uh, you know, I thought some prayers go to you, my friend, for a speedy recovery. So show my man some love. You know, go to this page. Adam is a friend. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, oh, caught you sleeping. Caught you sleeping at the intersection. So I'm about to run up in this joint real quick, grab myself an egg McMuffin, and do the damn thing. Yes, no, I did not fall it. I miss, misfired on my gears again. Okay, now it's official. I'm late for work and I'm gonna get fired. Oh, shit. Damn. I don't understand, man. Hi, McDonald's, you got 18 people at the register and nobody know how to work the motherfucker. Can you explain that to me? God dang. Oh shit, they're about to get in a fight in the drive-thru. That's why my anus goes inside. I don't I don't like going inside most places. You know, like the bank, give me the ATM, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to ordering food, I try to take that short line inside. Whoa, earthquake. Uh, okay. Hey, so today folks, we talking about beating your motherfucking kids. Oh yeah. See, some of y'all need to do that shit. So the other day, we're at church. I see these little two kids playing around. And first of all, they're running around. You know, the church has a nice little area. You know, with pretty flowers and all that shit. And the kids, there's two kids, a little boy and a little girl. When I say the ages, I would say the little boy was like, you know, eight, nine years old. And the little girl was probably like six. Hold up, man. Oh, oh, man. I know you want to make that yellow light, but I'm trying to make it to work. And, you know, they're running around playing, but they're running around in like the little church garden. You know, they got all these pretty flowers. And little kids just stomping the ship out of the flowers. And I'm like, damn, who, who kids are these little motherfuckers? And the parents, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. The parents are sitting right there just watching. You know, like, now, look, I understand now, being a parent, there comes a time, and it, it, it happened to everybody, you think, oh, my kids won't act like that, well, they, they shouldn't act like that, number one. But there will come a time when your motherfucking kids drive you so crazy that you just give up, you just like, fudge it, whatever. You know, it happens, it does happen. But they didn't have that look on their face like they gave up for today. You know, they had that look on, you know, like, oh, yeah, that's what, we let them do whatever they want, want to do, you know. Whatever. And I'm like, shit, everybody looking like, who's little untrained kids of these? And you hear the other, you know, parents talking, uh-uh, that don't make no damn sense. Half your kids running around tearing ship up like that, uh-uh. You know, you start to hear it, so you think the parents, you know, would take a hint. Wrong, wrong, uh-uh, uh-uh, not these motherfuckers. So wait, wait, it gets better. So, I guess the sun's out. So I'm looking at this ship and I'm like, man, I wish my son Donovan Wood do some shit like that. I yank his little butt up. Damn, wait, folks. Apparently, I'm watching the kids and the little girl 
She didn't even, oh, hang on, hang on. Somebody trying to be funny. Now, you want to drive all slow until somebody put their signal on, then you all of a sudden want to be Speedy Gonzalez up in this motherfucker. I hate when people do that shit. If you're going to drive slow, keep driving slow just because you see somebody want to pass your anus. Anus holes. Uh, I'm sorry, kids. I am not setting a good example if you are just learning how to drive. Thank you, sir. Kind sir. Thank you. So the kids are playing. Next thing you know, the little boy gets mad and spits in the girl's face. I mean, a big loogie, purposely. And everybody was like, oh, hell no. We at church now. Everybody, oh, hell no. And I was like, oh, uh-uh. You know what the mama did? The mama said, don't do that. Don't do that. Your son just spit in another motherfucker's face and you say, don't do that. Oh, uh, 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 man. That little boy, he needed his anus whoop right then and there. Man, everybody, matter of fact, the whole church should have took turns whooping that anus. The, the preacher, everybody, the choir, the choir should have did that shit while they were singing a song. Oh, uh, no, Dave. Beating kids is wrong. Fudge that shit. That little boy needed his anus whooped. Now, don't get me wrong. Not, not, not all kids need a butt whooping, okay? But there are some that need that shit. Your kids keep acting up. You keep giving them timeouts. They don't listen to no matter what. Listen, most likely you're not going to be able to get super nanny, okay? So what you need to do is whoop that anus one time real good. Now, wait, 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 wait now. There is a difference between whooping your child's anus and being abusive. Some of you motherfuckers don't know that. Oh, damn, how can you whoop a kid? Listen, I'm, look, when black people say whoop a kid, I mean, that, that, you know, that means discipline him. You know, whoop him, beat him. You know, the words actually sound worse than what it actually is. You're just disciplining your kids. Instead of a timeout, you got to give him some time with that belt or shoe, whatever you use. Now, there's a difference. There's a difference between whooping, disciplining your child, and abusing the motherfucker. Some of y'all are just abusive as a motherfucker, okay? All right, you should be whooping your kids to get your workout for the day. Well, they don't get a good whooping unless I work out a sweat. That's some bullshit. Hey, do I look kind of holy and, and angelic right now? If you're beating your kids and your arm gets tired, motherfucker, don't switch hands. Stop. You're done. And most likely, you probably already went too far. If you beat your kids because you don't have time to go to the gym and you want to break a sweat, your anus is abusive. If you are beating your kids and they go unconscious, your anus is abusive. If when you beat your kids, you always notice a red substance secreting from their bodies, yeah, motherfucker, you abusive. If you beat your kids and a week later they got marks over their body, look like somebody been playing tic-tac-toe on them, yeah, you abusive. I mean, come on, there's discipline, but don't just go fudging beating your kids because you got a bad day at work because shit is fudged up in your life. I mean, come on. Some of you motherfuckers need therapy. Don't be taking that shit out on your kids. That being said, you, you can't discipline your kids, you know, like you could back in the day. You know, like 20 years ago. 20 years ago, I still remember to this day. I was in the mall with my moms. And I had a fit, you know. I, just had, I had a little temper tantrum. And she was with all her friends. The mall was packed. And I wanted some toy. And she told me I couldn't have it. Boy, I was wilding. I'm telling you, I was going crazy. My mama snatched me up, took me in the bathroom, and whooped that anus. And you know what? I remember that. And I never did that ship again. That was my one and only temper tantrum. And me and my mom are as, as close and as tight as can be. I love my mama to death. Do you hear me? To death. And I know my mom wasn't abusive. My mom disciplined me. And I never did that shit again. Now, you can't do that shit these days, all right? If you're going to beat your kids, you know, you got to do that shit in private. Don't fudge around and go to jail. And like I said, not all kids need that shit, you know? But you know if your child is hard-headed and don't listen. Now, everything you heard in this video um, is purely for entertainment. 
Cause I don't want your anus to go to jail and say, oh, Dave said it was okay to beat my kids. No, no, no. This was for entertainment. But some of y'all need to beat your kids so they don't grow up fudging and cutting people's heads off and putting them in the freezer and shit. You know, kicking dogs, plucking eyes out of lizards and shooting ducks with bow and arrows. I mean, fudge, beat your damn kids, man. You know you got some bad anus kids. Beat the hell out of them. I saw a lady slap her kid in the face because they spilled some orange juice and I was so mad at that lady. I wanted to just punch her in the face, but she was bigger than me, so I didn't. That's not the point. Don't go around slapping your kids in the face and punching them and all that bullshit like they some grown behind people. Come on now. Abusive mother fudges. All right, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Gotta get to work. I'm David Spates. If you don't know I am now, you know. Now get that camera out of my face, sucker. Hey, hey, listen to me. Whatever you do, don't move. He'll bite you in the penis.